How's it going, lads? Marshall here, and welcome back to another review on the channel. As you guys can see, the day it has been done. 86 Roberto Carlos is mine. I, I use my icon swap tokens. Half of them I'll get for this season. Plus, well, minus one. Uh, 11 tokens in particular was used on this Roberto Carlos. So I'm going to review for you guys today because it's one of interest for you guys. Because you can actually get them now. If you get all 12 now, you can get Roberto Carlos for 11 icon swap tokens. With that being said, is he good enough? Simple as that. Is he good enough? I've seen him and uh, either Crespo or Cliven. I've also got Cliven in the squad, but I'll be reviewing him probably tomorrow. But we're going to look through Carlos today. So lads, if you do enjoy, you know what to do. Bring that hype. Smash that like. Let's aim for a thousand likes on this one because this is a big video. This is our first video after hitting 250,000 subscribers. Lads, I couldn't be any more happy. I couldn't be any more proud of you guys. And uh, proud of where this channel's went, man. It's, it's just been an incredible journey so far and um, like I said this morning it's not coming to a stop anytime soon I'm loving that YouTube I'm loving creating content for you guys I'm loving interacting with you guys every single day so thank you all very much for your support it's overwhelming it's just incredible and lads Roberto Carlos is he gonna be worth it so like the video subscribe if you're brand new around here and click that bell as well Roberto Carlos Let's get into the review. So here we go then, lads. Now, if you want to pick a Roberto Carlos, and don't bother with icon swaps or anything like that. Now, he has 11 icon swap tokens. But like I've just said, if you don't want to bother with that, he's 470k on both consoles. For once, the price is the exact same on the Xbox and on the PlayStation. It's got three star skills. You're not really bothered about that with left backs, right backs. You're not really bothered with uh, how many skills you've got. Four stars, always a bonus, but it's really not needed on this game. Two star week for... Could he benefit from having a free start with it? Yes, but he was also always a lefty in real life. He was a left footed player, scored those famous free kicks, those famous long shots with the left foot and the powerful strikes as well. High to medium work rates. It's good. It's good enough on this game for fullbacks. But the thing that you're looking for in there, as it just goes off the screen right about now, is the thing at the bottom of your screen the height. Five foot six. Now, is there a stat in there that helps him with those back post headers? Yes, there is. It's the jumping. 84 plus 10 with Nanka Kemstal takes it to 94. At the same time, he's not that strong in the air. He's not uh, combating in the air. He doesn't win those headers. If you come up against the Gareth Bill, for example, left back versus right wing, you're going to lose out on those aerial duels. But as the game stands right now, headers aren't really a viable option in the attack. And not many people use the headers option because they're just... It is a shite, to be honest. But uh, yeah, less said about that, the better. But with Roberto Carlos, you need to talk about that. So in terms of that, if they buff the heading in the future and it becomes a viable option for everyone to use in this game, Roberto Carlos could be a hindrance at that moment in time. Right now, he's bloody brilliant. In terms of the pace, 94 acceleration, 91 sprint speed. I've got to say, his recovery pace, recovery speed, whatever you want to call it, is exceptional. Now, what I mean by this is if you go in for a challenge and you miss the ball, which let, let, let's say you do on this game because you need to read your opponent. You can't just press B and hope for the best. You need to read your opponent. Are they going left? Are they going right? Are they going to stand still? You need to read your opponent. So with that being said, Roberto Carlos does this job very, very well. But if he does miss that, lads, he's got the recovery pace to catch up with his fullback, catch up with the winger. Um, he just does it every single time. Say you got the ball put over the top of him and then I try to recover. I do recover. I win the ball back and then I give the ball away. I need to recover again. I need to get back in position yet again because my center back gives it away so I need to get back in position look at him he's running back there and he wins the ball back that's what Roberto Carlos does and then he starts an attack because he's got the agility to be this kind of dribbler out from the defense as well he's a very good dribbler in this game as Roberto Carlos as he does start the attack like you see in the background um as a left back he's an attacking full back he's a very 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 fast full back and you will notice this if you get a Roberto Carlos in this game the acceleration massively noticeable I guess especially with Nanka Kem style, it pluses five to go up to 99 acceleration as a long shot goes close there. That was for the near post and it does go very, very close. But um, with the 99 acceleration and 96 sprint speed with the anchor Kem style attached, you can definitely notice them in game. And he's just exceptionally fast in everything he does. Running down the line, shooting, everything is just fast, no, fast, fast. Uh, it's powerful, it's fast, and it's just, it's zero to 100 in two seconds with Roberto Carlos. And so that is how I, I would describe him. That is exactly how I would describe him. As you see this player build up on the left-hand side, then it moves across to Roberto Carlos' side on the right-hand side of the field. Interception. His interceptions is incredible from time to time. It's 84, again, plus five with the anchor cam style. Takes it to 89. As um, it gets very unlucky there. The keeper gets brought out to Stegen, and he does win the ball. But in terms of pros of this card, you can see that in the best stats on the right-hand side of your screen. Acceleration, sprint speed, 94, 91 respectively 
the uh, it's just incredible. So Pierce is definitely a pro with this card. Getting up and down that left hand flank with his uh, high to medium work rates, so high attacking, medium defensive work rates. Um, it's just incredible, it really is. As you see him like a uh, nutmeg himself there, and then he, he, he's got the world's uh, space really, because he's got the pace to uh, burst into space with the acceleration and sprint speed. In terms of recovery speed, I've already talked about that, but it's, it needs to be mentioned again, because again, if you lose the ball in a vulnerable situation where they can get through on your defense, Roberto Carlos, he mops that up, and he makes it no issue, a no-brainer, and um, that is very, very useful in defensive uh, situations. As you've seen throughout this review, you've seen clips of him on the ball, you've seen clips of him off the ball, you've seen his positioning, and it all seems fantastic with the cards. In terms of tackling, is he a good tackler? Because you've seen his stats, you've seen his aggression was 76, you've seen his, well, did I say aggression was 76? His strength was 76, his aggression is 75, you've seen those stats. And um, what I want to tell you is he's very, very, very aggressive in the challenge. He goes in for the ball, he's very tenacious, he wins the ball back, he nibbles at the heels of attackers, and he just wins the ball back nearly every single time. You see Alan hounding the opponent there in the midfield, passing out to Roberto Carlos, and again, his passing is very good as well. What makes his passing good? Well, he's got 80 short pass, 72 visions, not that great. He's got 81 crossing, so if you do go down the wing, you fancy a cross. Roberto Carlos is your man to whip the ball in. But once again, it's the curve. It's 88 curves. So again, for those passes down line, you can curve it around their fullbacks and through to your attacker, who on this occasion was Neymar. He brings you those strong links to the Neymars, the Eden Militaos, and the players I had in my team, Allen, for example. He brings you some very good links. His tackling, phenomenal. His aggression makes him a good tackler in this game, and I've got aggression in there as one of the pros. The other pros, interceptions. He makes good interceptions. He gets in the way, and again, it's the acceleration and sprint speed that gets him into those positions, but it's also the interception stat as well. And the agility, why does this help a defensive player, might you ask? Well, I've been through this so many times. In agility, it's on and off the ball, right? So in terms of being on the ball, you can quickly accelerate away from a player, which, again, in this review, you would have seen it a lot of the time, and you can turn quickly. So if you're in a pickle and they're forcing the ball upon you, and you make a quick turn, what's gonna happen? You're gonna get away with the ball, especially with Roberto Carlos. If you do that with a very stiff full back, lads, you're gonna lose the ball, you're gonna be in no man's land, you're gonna take a touch, and then it's gonna take a while to respond, and uh, you're gonna lose the ball. But with uh, Roberto Carlos, it just doesn't happen, lads. He's a very, very good full back on this game, and he wins the ball back, as you've just seen there in the background, his interceptions, a lot of the time. In terms of the cons with this card, I think you guys knew it was coming, Lan. Uh, he's heading this not great, so from goal kicks, if they target your full back, um, he's not gonna win the majority of headers. Yes, he's jumping is good, yes, it is okay. And Anchor takes him to extremely good stats on this game. Uh, it just, it doesn't cut it for me. He's not that good in the air, so height would be the issue for that, but his heading is the issue. So in terms of heading and heights, they come hand in hand, but again, you knew that with him being five foot six. Now in terms of an overall rating of Roberto Carlos, what am I gonna give him? Lads, he's a brilliant, 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 brilliant card. I I'm happy I've done him now, I really am. I was on the fence about doing him, and then I bought Clive and I thought, you know what, let's get Roberto Carlos in the team. I didn't have too many coins within my squad, so I thought, you know what, let's um, risk it. Let's get 11 tokens on the line for Roberto Carlos, and let's try him out for you guys. I'm not disappointed. I'm really happy I got him in my team. I really, really am. So in terms of an overall rating for Roberto Carlos and his base icon, which is 86 rated, lads, he's getting an 8.7. Now, I'm not saying he's better than some attacking players I've used on this game because... He's not. He's, he's, that's, that 8.7 that I've given him right there is for his position, left back. I'm not saying he's an 8.7 at a strike. I'm not saying he's an 8.7 in net. I'm saying he's an 8.7 as a left back on this game, left wing back as well. And um, he's a very good left back at that. And that is um, what I've been through all this through this review. His, his pros, his cons, everything in total goes into that overall rating. When it comes to value for coins, this is talking about coins specifically. 470k for this card. I don't believe so, I don't believe so. I reckon it should be cheaper than that, maybe like 300, something like that, but um, not 470. In terms of 470, you just get some cheaper ones like the Marcelos, like Alexandros, like Alex Telezes, if you want the Brazilian fullbacks. In terms of icons, by all means, I I I'd get this card. Now, you've got to wait up. You've got 11 tokens going into this icon. 
in terms of that, you can only get a few more players within your team that you can select. So probably just one more. So do you want to save up, get that Didier Drogba, get that Steven Gerrard? Do you want to do that or do you want to go for someone like Roberto Carlos and get someone in like Crespo, like Clybert and someone that will go alongside this guy. Crespo, Clybert and those under that, that's 12 and under um, maybe like 13 tokens and under, I'm not too sure. Uh, who's who's under like 13 tokens? Is there anyone on 13 tokens? I'm not too sure but lads He's a great card for the tokens and I would recommend him because he is a great left back on this game In terms of enjoyment, I really did enjoy this card I was in the call and I was saying to the lads that Roberto Carlos is really impressing me here He's he's making the game fun. He's making counter-attacks flu fluid and stuff like that He's transitioning from defense to attack very very well And then he's he's got the pace to get back into position and it's, it's, it's recovery pace That would be the key pro today and pace is the key pro but it's the recovery pace in particular In terms of for champ status, he's starting my weekend league and I would recommend that uh, you would start your team or, or for your team if you were to get this card. He played five games in total, zero goals, zero assists, but he's a fullback. He's not really going to contribute in terms of five games, getting like five goals and five assists, you know what I'm saying? So in terms of match ratings, they don't get very high ratings at fullback. I've, I've noticed that today. And it's normally in the sevens. So 7.0, 7.2, 7.7, 7.5, and it's 7.8. In terms of links, Neymar, Brazilians, look for those Brazilians. In terms of similar players, probably Jordi Alba, which I'd reckon to Roberto Carlos, but Roberto Carlos is better than Alba, in my opinion, on this game. The key pro will be that recovery pace, the key con will be the height, affecting his heading, of course. And the best cam style, Anchor. Just have a look at Anchor and what boost it gives you. It gives you boost in pace, defending, and physical, which he doesn't really need the pace boost, but it really does help. He goes to an 88 left back and right back, 88 centre back, 87 left wing back, right wing back, 85 CDM, and an 81 left midfielder. So he goes to an 88 centre back. That just proves how kind of buffed his defensive stats go in the anchor chem style. In terms of the best icon I've reviewed in that position, it's only been Roberto Carlos. And in terms of the Brazilians, I've used in that position, I would rank it Roberto Carlos, Alexandro Co. And by Co, I mean Marcelo, Alex Telles. But I reckon Alexandro is probably the best out of those three. In terms of the passing, it's a seven. This is very well-rounded. Seven passing, seven shooting, seven physical, and seven dribbling. And the review is done. Lads, I hope you have enjoyed this review. Once again, I hope it's helped you, man. I hope it's helped you kind of uh, have a look, a bit, a bit of Roberto Carlos, a bit of insight into the card, a bit of knowledge about the card. If you haven't got this card, if you've got this card, let me know your thoughts on Roberto Carlos and his card in general. And let me know if you think it's worth 11 tokens. Let me know if you think it is in the comment section below. Once again, going back to the starts, 250,000 subscribers, lads. Quarter of a million. Wow. <laughs> wow, uh, that, that's just incredible lads. Thank you all so much for your support on this channel and um, we've made it to a quarter of a million. And uh, well, I know what you're gonna say. You're gonna say, you've made it to a quarter of a million. No, 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 I, I, I do the content, yes. But if you guys weren't here, I wouldn't do the content. Simple as that, it's, uh, it's a mutual thing. I do something, you do something and it all works in tandem. So thank you very much and we have hit 250,000 subscribers. Hope you have enjoyed this review. Smash a like, subscribe if you're brand new to the channel and as always, I will catch you all next time.